When you want to disable an anchor tag using jQuery, there's only a couple of very simple steps that are required. Let's first take a look at what this example does. So here I have an anchor tag in the page that takes the, the user to frontendvideo.com. So when I click that anchor tag, I'm taken to frontendvideo.com as expected. What I would like is for that link to be disabled. So when the user clicks it, nothing happens. So here in the JavaScript tab, you can see that there's already a click event handler set up for the anchor tag. So I'm going to paste in these two lines of code and let's talk about what they mean. So this, this uh, callback function for the event handler receives the event object as its first argument. So what I'm doing is I'm calling two methods on the event object. I'm calling prevent default and stop propagation. Prevent default literally prevents the default behavior of an element. So in this case, the default behavior of an anchor tag is to follow the href value, or in this case, go to frontendvideo.com. So we're going to prevent that from happening. And then stop propagation means don't let the event bubble up. So in many cases, it may not matter, but sometimes you may uh, be capturing the event on a uh, ancestor element higher up in the DOM. So the simplest way to, to disable the anchor tag is to call both the prevent default and stop propagation methods on the event object that's passed to the click event handler. So now that I have that set, when I click this link, nothing happens. You can see that as much as I click it, we don't go to frontendvideo.com. If I were to remove these two lines of code and then click the link, you can see that we go to frontendvideo.com and once again, if I refresh the page and go to the click event handler and paste these two lines of code in, when I click the link, nothing happens. We've disabled the anchor tag using jQuery.